My name is Shoshana. I'm a PhD candidate at the Fenner School. Uh, and this is Coda. Coda, come up. Up, 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 up. And she's my Kelpie cross that helps me find GPSs. <laughs> that smell interesting. Find it. Lots of birds today, huh? Good girl. Nose. Yes, good girl. Coda's trained to find the GPS trackers um, that we fit to the curlews as part of the reintroduction project. And she actually <laughs> smells the electronic components. Good girl. Okay, okay. Conservation detection dogs have just opened up so many opportunities for threatened species conservation. So we started doing scent work just as a way for her to have a bit of fun and a bit of exercise for her brain. And she ended up being really good at it. I was like, whoa, this dog could actually deploy. And at the same time, I was having this problem where we couldn't find the GPS devices that had come off the birds. And when the devices come off, they're really difficult to find and they cost nearly $2,000 each. So my supervisor, Dr. Heather McGuinness, who's done this before, suggested I train Coda to find the GPSs and she's amazing at it. Yes! You want a cuddle? Yeah, good job. All the stuff that makes her this like ball of energy is what makes her a really good working dog. It just makes her more difficult as a pet dog, but that just means that I've had to step up as a handler to learn how to deal with her. Isn't that right, Coda? This one's got the harness on, so this one we actually retrieved from a bird. And this one is one that's still in working condition. Coda, find it. Because they're tiny, size of about a USB stick, in complex vegetation, Sometimes if predation's been involved, they're hidden, they're caged, they're underground. Humans just aren't up to the task of looking for these things. Good girl! So we've got express permission from the rangers at Mulligan's Flat to do our work, and we have to tell them where we're working and when we're working. And she also wears this working harness just to make it really clear that this is under special permission, because ordinarily dogs are not permitted inside the sanctuary. Good girl. Should we do a find here? What do you think? I get to use my eyes as the ecologist looking for features that I think, you know, might be related to where the GPS or the birds are. And Coda's using her brain as a canid, you know. Um, dogs are related to foxes. And so she's actually thinking in similar ways about that, that scent landscape. Um, and so with our powers combined, it, it makes it a lot easier than just me working alone as the handler. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, you are tired. You want a cuddle? I love watching her body language and I love how it changes through the day when we're working. So when we start, she's always just a ball of excitement because she knows we're going to go out and do her job, especially once we put the harness on. Um, but then as we're heading back out, um, she just has this beautiful loose body language with the, the swishing tail and that relaxed gait, um, which just means the world to me. 